Hi, today I'm coming at you for a new video. I went to the store that I found on Instagram. It's called, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Morphe Brushes. And it's in, in here in California. And here's the my receipt with the name. And here's the street address. It's right here in Burbank, California. And there's the phone number. They have a website. And I bought over there our eight individually eyeshadow for $2 a piece. Yes, you heard right. $2 a piece. They are really high pigmented. I have a picture of the store. It's going to be right now. You'll see the picture. I thought the store was good. It felt comfortable. And you didn't have that many people coming, looking at you, bugging you or anything like other stores do. This, there was one girl running the whole store in, at that time when I was there. And it was, it had a nice, good, comfortable feeling there. And for the eyeshadows, you'll see how it looks inside. And here's and if you see like far away in the back with a cat behind the cashier, you will see a little eyeshadow thing back there. Let me able to zoom that in. Let me give you a couple seconds to take a look at it. Okay, right there they have a little list in the bottom and they have nothing but numbers. And I'm gonna show you how I got my pack my my merchandise. It's just a regular clear white bag. And they give you a sticky pad with uh you can pick your numbers so i got eight of them so i got number 28 15 13 61 63 63 and number 62 so they tell you write down the numbers what eyeshadows would you like they go in the back and some man brought me my eyeshadows so here they are my eight eyeshadows i got for two dollars a piece Yes, two dollars a piece. So, like I said, the numbers here's number thirteen. With the the lowest number is number three, and they don't have um with well, the bad part they don't have the names on them, but the packaging is just like Mac. Everything they have the number in the back. You can see the number number three, and you had to look online for their names. So I wrote all their names down. Let me do this. Alright, so number three is a soft peachy beige and it's in satin. Let me take it out of its packaging. This is number three. And this is the color. It's nice. It's they say it's a soft peachy beige and it's satin. So let me do a swatch. My fingers are clean. You could still see some of the red. I did a swatch of a red there and look how highly pigmented that is. Okay, so let me do a swatch of number three. That's how it looks on my finger. And that's how it looks right there. Right there. So that's number three. And then from the next number, it'll be number 13. And number 13 is a soft golden peach with a pearl satin so there's number 13 and let me do a swatch here's number 13 it's a they say it's a soft peachy beige I went for more of a neutral colors see there it is it's almost exactly as my skin colors right here right in the middle right in the middle you can't really tell but look at it's on my finger in this one. It's a nice pretty pretty beige. It matches almost matches me. That's what's good about it. I like about that one. Alright, and then we go to number fifteen is next. And number fifteen it's a golden orange brown. And it's gonna be matte. This is number 15, and here it is. Let me swatch that one, and it'll be right here next to the red. And that's how my finger looks with it. And when I when I swatch it, that's how it is. It's a pretty brown color. I'm going wrong way. It's a nice pretty brown color. It sticks on and it's actually stuck on my finger. Here's the other ones that are like coming off already. But it's really high pigmented. I have no eyeshadow primer, no nothing like that on my arm. It's just 
plain eyeshadow on my fingers. And then I'm going to go to number 28. Number 28 is a true black, and it, this one's in matte. When I saw this one, I'm like, oh, I had to get this color. It's a very beautiful black. Here's number 28. And here's the black. I like, oh, I had to get this color. It's beautiful. They just barely reflect the black. It's very highly pigment. Look at that black. Beautiful. And then let me swatch it. Right there. See how. Where am I going? Where am I going? You see how pigmented that is? And it's actually still on my finger. So I do recommend this brand. I'm going to go back and get more. And then I'm going to go to number 60. And number 60 is a soft muted beige. I'm going to be careful here so I won't scratch up the, the shadows. And here's number 60. I'm going to go to the other hand. That's how the finger, that's how I look. So 60 is a soft muted beige. And there it is. And it's still a little bit on my finger. There it is right there. Number 60. 61. It's a light golden brown. Like I said, I went straight for neutral colors. And here is 61. That's how it looks. And let me swatch it on my finger. This is how the color looks. It's a nice, pretty. To me, it's like a taupe brown, but they say it's a golden brown. So that's how it looks. To me, they're like a hard to say both. Uh, I forgot what number it was. I think it was number. Oh, it was one of those brown colors I got. So that's the brown for number sixty-one. But to me, yes, I think I think it is golden brown number sixty. Number thirteen to me, it seems like. But that one looks like it to me. All right, and then number sixty-two is a muted taupe brown, and it's a matte. I got one, two, three, four, five, six mattes and two satins. And this is number sixty-two, and this is a muted taupe brown. Let me swatch it. This is my finger looks with it. Honestly, to me, like, they almost look the same, but, like, I'm sorry. They're, like, almost matching my skin, but you can see number 61 is a little bit more darker than 62. Okay, and then the last one is number 63. And number 63, it's a golden, it's a muted golden. It's another matte color. I went for more mattes. The satin. Let me take this one too, let me try. So here's number 63. And I guess I'll go with my pinky. And that's how it is. The nice, pretty dark brown. Right there. There it is. Nice golden brown. Muted brown. Mute and golden. And then, like, for the palette, like, you call I think you call them Z palette. This is the palette I got with it. This one was six ninety nine. They say you just could pop in your your name just a plain. But I'm thinking about getting like the top of the receipt right here, like chopping it and put it on here so I can know what they are. Or just put the name and then put blushes on the side. But that's what it is. You just get your eyeshadow and you just pop that sucker. Right in. Okay, you're not gonna come out shaking or anything. Just stuck in there. So, honestly, I do recommend the store. They do have a website. I will put everything in the bottom bar. I'll put the link and everything down below. What the kid, including the address. I ask them if they have like a a a, a, a coupon code. And they say right now they have one. 
around floating around and that was gonna be expiring soon. So I will go back and find out I could get another coupon code so I could put it down the link below. If you wanna see any reviews or anything about all the eyeshadows I got, let's leave a comment below and then I'll get back to you. I'll read the comments. Don't forget to wait. Okay, I forgot to show you one thing. The red right here, I after I got out when I got out of the store, I'll show you some pictures of the red eyeshadow that I have that was still stuck on my hand, so I'm gonna show you pictures now. Okay, don't forget to subscribe, thanks, and thumbs up. If you didn't see any more, just leave a comment below. Like I said, I'll read your comments and I'll get back to you as, as soon as I can. And then you can follow me up on Twitter and on Instagram. I'll leave the links down below. And like I said, I'll leave the link below. Like I said, I'll go back to the store within a month, or, uh, within two weeks, two to three weeks, and I'll see if they have another coupon code that will be still. But I'll leave a link below down the bottom bar. Don't forget to read the bottom bar. Until next time. Bye.